When I think about my favorite teacher, the only person that comes to mind for me happens to be my uncle, who uh, was my Uncle Marvin. And Uncle Marvin was the person who really cared about me and who I could relate to as a kid. So the reason why I'm involved in the field of emotional intelligence is really because of him. And I think back when I was you know, 10, 11 years old and feeling left out in school and feeling like I didn't belong and, and being bullied, he was the one adult who was comfortable having really rich conversations with me, asking me about my feelings and giving me language to describe my feelings, even talking about strategies um, to manage my feelings. And it's quite funny because what I remember now as an adult was that he was also a teacher, a real public school teacher, and uh, he would give me his lessons on feelings to type back then on a typewriter. And uh, little, did I, little, do I, little did I know that um, as an adult I would be uh, literally writing curriculum based on those lessons that I typed when I was 13 years old. And one other thing that I learned from him, he had a phrase that I just loved and he said, self-fulfillment equals the combination of purpose and productivity. And I just always resonated with that because he said if you have purpose in life uh, but you're not doing anything to achieve that purpose, right, you're not going to be happy. Uh, but also if you're just productive all the time without having purpose, right, you're not really going to accomplish anything. So oftentimes I sit back and I think about, okay, I'm busy, but am I busy addressing my passion and my purpose? And um, for some reason, uh, that little statement about purpose and productivity equals self-fulfillment has always resonated with me.